Started to think you wouldn't show. Shouldn't have, to be honest. Why not? Normally only work with fixers. Clients that avoid them tend to be bad news. I just care about my privacy. Everyone wants their privacy. Maybe, but not as much as me. Fuck me. It's you. It's me, Lizzie Wizzy. Sit, please. Let's talk. V? Sit. Okay, so what's this about? I think you can guess. I'm in trouble. Mm-hmm. And what kind? <laughs> Good question. Been a rough year. Creative block. Can't even say the last time I made anything worth listening to. And to make things worse, I fell in love. It's not the worst thing in the world. It is to me. I have something to say. And that? It's a distraction. I need to focus on my art. So... We talking a man, a woman? Oh shit, these hands. Sometimes it seems like I just brush something and sparks fly. <sighs> anyway, a man. His name's Liam. Liam Northam. Been together a few months, but I think he's cheating on me. Okay. Why the suspicion? <sighs> it's so cliched, it's embarrassing. Whispered phone calls in the bathroom, strange receipts. Secret meetings in the middle of the night. Any specific event come to mind? <laughs> My mind... That's... That's a touchy subject. Why? Don't know each other well enough for that, V. You talk to him at all? Tell him to his face? <laughs> You're adorable. Imagine this. We're never alone. Not really. Always surrounded by assistants, PR reps, makeup artists. I stop smiling at him for one millisecond, it'll be all over every scream sheet in this town. Understood. No, you don't understand. Not until you've lived it. Millions of eyes trained on you constantly. It can be beautiful and terrifying. Liam Northam. Nah, don't know him. Tell me about him. Forty-ish, sensitive, guy who never wanted for anything. You know the type. Heard they exist. How'd you meet? <sighs> He's my manager. I know. I know how it sounds. I never meant to. He's not even my type, but... But? Your body can be chrome, but the heart never changes. It wants what it wants. So what's my role here? What do you want? Proof. And then I'll end things. For good. Liam goes to Riot all the time. I think he meets someone there. I want to know who. You'll find out for me? Not so fast. The scratch? You'll get it. Sure hope so. Question is, how much? God, how mundane. No idea. Scads and scads of scratch. You happy? Mm-hmm. You know, for us mere mortals, the mundane matters. Sometimes means the difference between life and death. Don't lecture me. You want the job or not? You can count on me. Perfect. Remember, I want specifics. 
details. Recordings or pics if you can. Sure. Keep it in mind. Good. Now go. You look okay. Go in. No messing around. I'm looking for a guy. Name's Liam. Liam Northam. You know where I could find him? No, you can fuck off, Merc. I ain't talking. Listen, it's important. I'm sure, to you, me, couldn't give a flying fuck. Campaign to the VIP room, stat. Okay, just let me give three their check. You have nothing better to do? Nice tunes. Good work music. Yeah? Wouldn't know. I filtered out music and other ambience since I started here. Be deaf already if I hadn't. Busy night, hey, huh? Wait! Real busy. Yeah. You looking to spill your sorrows? This ain't the time. Looking for Liam. Liam North. Ah, <sighs> that one. Fuck. Can't stand that gunk. Bad tipper? Uh-huh. Plus, he's a jackass. Output's even worse. Output, huh? Interesting. Anyway, where's he at? You know I can't tell you that. 
It's important. Sure it is. You don't look like someone gets caught up in bullshit, but I, I can't. Seriously, sorry. together at the premiere and here he is with a new one seriously eh, total skis. looking for liam liam north you know him could say i know of him what about it is he around saw him drive up to the door but that was like half an hour ago no idea now Right. Let's see what's here. Champagne? Nice surprise. Uh... Consider it a token of my gratitude. I know you don't often agree to use the relic, but, well, you don't usually make an engram of a living person, either. Oh, come on. Arasak has taken a keen interest in Lizzie's career. Be a shame if it ended prematurely. A backup copy seems to be the most sensible solution. About that. Once you made the backup, can you tweak it to remove undesirable traits? Because, Lizzie, ever since her conversion, she... she hasn't been herself. I'm afraid that's impossible. Engrams saved in the Secure Your Soul program cannot be edited. But how significant would these edits be? Significant. Sometimes, sometimes I don't even recognize her. Other times, uh, ne never mind. Let's have a drink. To our partnership. Oh, fuck. You heard what I just heard, right? Relic. They want to do her like they did me. Not exactly. They wiped you. Here, they just want to make a backup. A backup? V, we're talking about a person. Not your vacay snaps. Guy didn't even ask. He's just going behind her back. He's got no right to do it. Nobody has that right. Especially without her knowing. Shit. How do I even tell her? Don't have to. Camera in there. Where there's a cam, there's footage.
Hey, what the hell are you doing here? Oh, isn't it obvious, Liam? Listening in on you two. Look, I don't know who you are, but I can assure you, you'll regret this. Risk of regret must be why they're paying me. Huh? Who sent you? Tell me, now! Lizzie, you know, your output. The one you want to put on a shard, without her knowledge. She'll be interested to hear about this chat of yours. Very interested. Hey, hey, wait, wait one fucking second. Listen, I'll, I'll, I'll pay you, okay? Whatever you want, just forget everything you heard, all right? Sure, maybe I'll say yes. But first, I want to hear your why. Liam, no, Arasaka was very clear. Fuck Arasaka. I'm afraid for her. Lizzie, she wanted to go full conversion, right? Change her whole body to chrome. She did it, but something went wrong. At first it was just little memory problems, concentration, but now she's changed. We all change, Liam. All the time, usually for the worse. You don't get it. When I talk to her, I'm scared. There's something, something in her. Shit, I, I can't describe it. It's fine. I'm not the one you owe an explanation. No, wait, wait, I'll pay you whatever you want. Just don't tell anybody. I am begging you. Sure, send me cred. Better be a lot. Sure, sure, sure. <laughs> I get it. Transferring now. I'm out. And drink up. Bubbly's no good warm. Oh, fucking hell. No privacy. V? What's up? Got some intel on Liam. And? Is it what I thought? No. Worse, Lizzie. Much, much worse. What do you mean? Listen, don't know the deets, but Liam, he... He wants your engram. He wants to copy you. What? But why? He said... He said he's afraid, for you, and of you. No. no, I don't believe it. You hear me? Not a single word. You're lying. Got the data to prove it. Here, listen for yourself. No, no, it's, no.
No ordinary clan. They're not even human! Vampires, the lot! Their bodies, they never age! But notice their eyes, cold and dead! Their corporation exists only as cover for their wicked means to live, or rather, to remain undead! I tell you now, Saburo is not gone from our world! He rests undisturbed in the family crypt. He feasts on the blood of his servants, awaiting his body's rejuvenation to return once more. Mark my words! Wouldn't be a total shocker. Said on TV, Arasaka's working on immortality tech. A hollow lie to conceal their inhuman nature. Its source flows not through technology, but through their undead blood. But how could mere mortals become these death-defying abominations, you ask? With the help of techno-necromancers from Alpha Centauri. It was their tainted blood Saburo Arasaka drank to transform himself into this devil spawn. Gary, you can't spill Arasaka's secret. They gonna find you. Let them. The seed has been sown. The truth shall sprout roots and lift us from the invaders' clutches. I recognize you. You come here often. Your eyes tell me that your mind has opened to the truth. Will you provide a humble donation so that I may continue my mission? You do good work. Use this to wake Night City up. Thank you for your devotion. I saw a disciple of truth in you from the very beginning. Radio waves bear the truth. Let go. I was thinking about swapping some chrome. You got any new toys? Have a look. What hides underneath, you ask? Reptilians? 
I answer you, no! Not reptilians, but werewolves! At sunset, they strip off their clothes and dance nakedly, giving in to an animalistic ecstasy. Then, once they've transformed into the fanged beasts, they set off on the hunt, hungry for human flesh. Dozens of miles they cover in the darkness, with ferocious speed, like arrows in the night! Met my share of nomads, and there's definitely something primal about them. Those cannibal claims cross the line, though. Deny the truth all you want, but what will you do when the pack hunts you down? And the cause behind these monstrous horrors? Years ago, a ship from Alpha Centauri crash-landed in the Badlands. Legend tells that it carried a substance highly sought after by the vampire elite in Arasaka. It could transform Saburo's enemies into werewolves, leashed and bound to his will. But the crash... Well, you got a problem with nomads, freak? Better shut your fat fucking mouth before I put you six feet under. You can break my bones, but you cannot stop the pursuit of truth. Howdy, fellas. How's life with the Alicaldos? Look who it is. V. It's all good. Pan Am's kicking off a new role. Say, you know this nut job? A little. He's totally harmless. Says things that make a politician look like a beacon of truth. Don't know if you're aware or not, but we're all the stars of a galactic reality show. <laughs> the fuck? And here I was all offended. <laughs> yeah, gotta tell Saul or, you know, eat somebody then disappear like an arrow in the night. Have a good one, V. That was close. They're not as dangerous in the daylight, but it still could have ended badly. Thank you for your concern, though I could have done without the mockery. No problem. I mean, who's gonna tell me how we fake the Mars landing if I let them knock your teeth out? You have no faith in my words, do you? You think I don't know when I'm mocked, when they take me for a false prophet? It's hard to take your interpretation seriously, but there is a little truth in what you say. Sometimes even more than a little. You see it too! You know that behind a veil of darkness lurk creatures from our nightmares, but you fear to believe it! You know, if you had any kind of real evidence of this grand cosmic plot... I do! Tonight! They're meeting at an old factory in Kabuki to exchange something important! Observe them! Seize this item, this Alpha Centauri artifact! You'll see I was right from the beginning! Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. How do you even know about this meeting? Their radio waves resonate within my brain. Ever since the accident, I've heard their secret broadcasts. The accident. You know that doesn't instill confidence, right? You don't understand! I have their co-processor in my head! I don't know how my Ripper Doc got his hands on it. But thanks to this, I can listen into their plots and schemes. If you help me, we can save this planet together! Okay, I'll see what I can do. Thanks for the tip, I think. You mustn't intervene too soon, or too late. All could be lost. The fate of humanity rests upon your shoulders. Don't let us down. Do not let me down. No pressure, got it.
time has come for a close encounter of the third kind. A small step for V, but a giant leap for humankind. Who are you betting on showing up? The reptilians or techno-necromancers? Fingers crossed for unicorns, actually. Always believe they fly down from planet Nibiru and destroy us with rainbow lasers of love. You're adorable. Didn't realize you still had a childlike imagination. And intelligence. Enough joking around. Gotta be quiet. Gotta wait. No one. As expected, I guess. Gotta be honest, though, I'm pretty disappointed. Don't lose hope yet. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Someone actually showed. It's Maelstrom. Techno necromancers, then. I knew those reptilians were bullshit. I can't believe it. There's some actual conspiracy shit going down right now. What says the wolf father to the moon mother as she descends to Earth? I have protected the Earth with my own shadow. But today they are protected by our children, whose name is Patricide. Failure, he became lost in the forest. Lilith has concealed the tenth circle from the ancestors' eyes. Carpe noctem namia. Digit diem execrari. I was hoping for green blood. Life really. It is nothing but an endless disappointment. Wonder what our prophet will say about this chip.
que espera te piensa y te hear what you better say. Dile que eres un mata ciego, descubrirá que tu padre se ha muerto. Sí. Gary, what happened? I warned him! Some black suits came by, blue eyes and all, looked just like he said. Then, then they threw him in an AV and, and flew him to the mothership! And you saw this mothership? How could I? They sprayed this black mist, couldn't see nothing. Poor Gary, he sacrificed himself for us! Right now, I'm collecting donations for a monument in his honor to remember his courage and the crimes of Alpha Centauri. Care to spare a few eddies? In love and memory? Hey, sorry, but I'm dead broke. But poor Gary! What'll happen to his legacy? Right. Maybe another time. Or another cause. Please! Gary deserves this! And even more! Ah, why not? Gary's earned his grand fucking monument. Take this, before I change my mind. Oh, I don't know what to say. Gary'd be so touched. I got this chip here. Mind taking a look? You're devoted to our cause. I right, show me. I'll tell you what I know. Jesus Christ, hide that quick! Nobody can know, got it? Why? What is it? What's this all about? Gary knew this had happened. They here to bend us to their will, to, to make us their puppet. Whoa, calm down. Who is? Tecro Necromancers? And lo! They shall descend upon the earth unseen, the sky shrouded in darkness. That's what he said. Night's coming, the eternal night. And so ends the epic saga of discovering secrets of paranormal beings. What's this story taught us? That our world's ruled by alien overlords from the darkest reaches of space, and we're powerless to stop it. An astute theory, but wide of the mark. Some people know more than others. They hear the private conversations of the world's elite. And what do they do with that knowledge? They invest all their time reinventing age-old fairy tales. Oh, where's your sense of imagination? I choose to believe we narrowly avoided war with vampires and aliens. Don't we all? Vampires, aliens, reptilians, all captivating, romantic even. Truth, on the other hand, is brutally mundane. Its corpse pulling the strings. Twisted bastards sketched out on their power fantasies. You think that's what we saw? Shady corpo biz? No doubt about it. They're the world's real bloodsuckers. Them, and always them. We demand justice for Prophet Gary! Donate now to our memorial for...